All right, so in this tutorial, we are going to work on visitor and comment notifications. All right, so when we create a new uh, message, a visitor is created. So let's take advantage of that. Create a visitor called John Doe. So when we click on send, we want this information to be logged in a notification. All right, so to do that, we go into our visitor model, create a callback. So after save, call a method called notify. And I'm just going to say by bug so we can inspect this object. So now when we click on send, uh, this will freeze. And down here, we can inspect a few things. So a visitor has notifications, has comments and messages. And in after save is where we are now. So let's see what we have. So if I say self dot uh, inspect, inspect. So it gives us all the records that just been saved. So this is a Vista ID, the name, email that we just saved. So that's fine. But we also have uh, comments and messages. So let's say we say self dot uh, messages. It should be uh, plural. So we could say messages dot inspect. So it gives us the message that we've just saved also for that visitor. All right. So that's cool, that's fine. We can also do messages that inspect, so we don't have to say self. All right, so now we have notifications uh, dot inspect. So this gives us a, a collection. All right, so we can say uh, notifications uh, build dot inspect. So this does something slightly different. So it gives us a, a notifiable ID, which is the same as the Vista ID and it gives us the notifiable type, which is visitor. So everything else is nil until we actually go ahead and save that um, object. All right, so now we have all that information. We simply just say notifications.build.save. So this will build our notification for us. So now let's go ahead and send this message. All right, successfully saved. Uh, login and click on notifications. And we can see John Doe added a new visitor uh, less than a minute ago. Uh, so that's uh, that's it pretty much. Um, if I go back to the front, so we can say that we have done the visitor bit is done. Now we have comments. So if I go into a post, if we fill this in, we expect a new visitor to be created and also a message to be created. So, but let's not click on send just yet. Um, let's go and copy this. This is exactly the same. Go into um, our comments. Comments has many notifications, so we're all set to go. And when notify is called, it's going to build our notifications and it should save. So let's have a look. All right, so no errors. So, so, so far, so good. We go into our notifications and we can see Peter Fish added a new as a new visitor less than a minute ago. So that's great. And down here we have Peter Fish added a comment less than a minute ago. All right, so now we know that it all works. We have a bit of a duplication though. So this too, uh, what I can do is in concerns, create a new file and we call this notifiable. You can call it whatever you want. Um, we say module notifiable and we always extend active support concern. This creates some magical methods for us. So we say included. So wherever we include this uh, module, we want you to also include after save notify. And then we define a method which will be included automatically uh, anyway. So this is what we are going to do. All right, so we have this extend always included is what we're including it into. It will include after save notify and then methods are included by default anyhow. All right, so now we can get rid of this and in place we say include uh, notifiable and that's, that's all we need to do. So we copy this here and we also replace this there. So now we have extracted that method into this module and this after save will be added for us. All right, so just to make sure everything is working, I'm just going to uh, come here, go to maybe 
contacts and say Kingsley Ijama Kingsley Kings at test.com hey there and send message and that's it we have a message sent have a look notifications and we have my name there and it worked okay so that's it um, concerns is where we put uh, modules for our models so that's a good extraction there all right so we can say this is done and it is done so in the next uh, tutorial we need to start uh, working on making things look good so we'll be using a front end that we did previously and that's it so i'll see you in the next tutorial